Hello Taurus, this is you versus them for April 1st through April April 15th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming. And let's see what we've got for you guys. Let's see what your past issues were here. Taurus's past issues. Taurus's past issues. The three of Pentacles, feeling like there was no camaraderie, um, that you guys probably just could not get along. You could not work together. Okay. Maybe feeling um, some incompatibility here. What were their past issues, the other person? What were their past issues? The Queen of Swords. Maybe that you guys were a little too cutting with your words. Um, maybe they felt like you guys were not honest, that they were always on guard with you guys here, okay? What's keeping Taurus from this individual? What's keeping Taurus from going towards this individual? What's keeping Taurus away from this person? The Eight of Pentacles. A lot of you guys are just working, I feel. Um, a lot of you may have felt, too, that you were carrying all the financial responsibility in this connection, okay? That you were spending out more, that this person was not working with you, that you were carrying, you know, this weight alone. But I feel like a lot of you guys are, you know, throwing yourselves into your work right now. Okay, concentrating on that and um, just really not trying to focus on matters of the heart. Okay, what's keeping this person from Taurus? What's keeping this person from coming towards Taurus? Their own stability. Their own stability. Um, they feel very grounded right now, very stable. They're happy in their home. And I feel that this person's really not trying to rock the boat. They're actually, I feel like, I feel like they kind of have a guard up around them. Okay. Not really trying to allow anything in that's going to throw their um, stability off. You know. What's currently going on for Taurus? Please show me what's currently going on for Taurus. What's currently going on for Taurus? Ace of Wands, starting over. Mm -hmm. um, some of you guys may be dating. Some of you may be wanting to start over with this individual. Because we do have Aries right here. Uh, but there's something new here. Maybe an attraction. Um, dating. Casual dating. Something new that you guys um, have started. Okay, Started feeling. Uh, wanting to do. Something like that. What's currently going on for the other person? What's currently going on for the other person? The Knight of Wands. This person's pursuing something um, that they have a passion for. They're, they're trying to move forward. They're trying to move on. Um, this person may like to travel. They like to... Um, they really don't like to allow things to really phase them or, or you know, cement them into things, okay? They like the versatility of being able to, to basically duck and move, you know? If things that they feel like aren't serving them, then um, they're out. But I feel they're currently in pursuit of something that they feel very passionate about. This person may also be dating. Okay, seeing people, just going out and having fun, basically, enjoying themselves. What's influencing Taurus right now? What's influencing Taurus right now? What's influencing Taurus? The Queen of Cups. Mm. I, you know, I'm feeling that this is more of an energy than anything else. Um, I feel that you guys there's something that um something you're passionate about something that you that you have a lot of love for 
um, someone that you have a lot of love for. I feel like you guys are definitely getting in touch with your um, your emotional, your feminine side, whether male or female. I feel like um, I feel like there's a lot of uh, compassion within you guys currently. Um, I feel that there is what do you call it? What do you call it? I, I'm having a brain freeze right now. But um, unconditional love towards a situation. It's like a lot of understanding, compassion, I feel like going on with you guys. Could very well be a, um, a water sign individual that is influencing you here. Somebody that you want to offer something to. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces somebody that you have a lot of love for and I feel like um, those feelings are reciprocated here coming as a queen this is a mature energy so it, it's not something I feel like that is fleeting you know this is this is something serious here that's currently going on okay let's see what's influencing the other person what's influencing the other person the eight of cups There's something that I feel like they have currently, you know, they feel like something's not serving them um, on an emotional level. Okay. Whoever this is, uh, this person may have moved locations. Maybe the people in their home, um, there's something about the situation that that is not um, agreeing with them. They don't agree with it, but I feel like they're they're definitely leaving behind an energy that is not serving them emotionally. Okay. They may have just gotten out of a relationship as well, or maybe the relationship that they have experienced with you guys. That you know, they're determined that I'm not gonna focus on this anymore. This is done, this is over with. You know, they're focusing on their own stability, their personal stability. Okay. Where let's see. What's coming in for Taurus here? What's coming in for Taurus? Ace of Pentacles. You have two aces side by side. Okay. Something you feel passionate about, but also something that you feel like can grow into something really um, substantial. Okay. Something serious. I'm feeling you guys wanting to make an offer here. It's like I, I feel a lot of you guys like building up your nerve, so to speak in this situation okay building up your nerve I see Aries Pisces cancer energy here maybe Libra Gemini Aquarius hmm. what's coming in for them what's coming in for them the seven of cups Mm. I definitely see this person has options because I see them exploring. I see them possibly dating um, or either being interested in someone or, you know, certain things. Definitely. But I definitely see them exploring their options. Because something ended here, I feel, that they walked away from. That they felt was not you know, jiving with them emotionally. So now they're, you know, out in the world, like, you know, trying to see what else is out there, I feel. Okay. What's the advice for Taurus? What's the advice for Taurus? The King of Swords. Speak your mind. Speak your mind. If there's something that you want to say, I feel that now is the time to say it. Because you're looking, this King of Swords is looking right at the Queen of Cups. There's somebody I feel like you want to make an offer to. To start over. 
Because you see, you see longevity here. We're at the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody that you probably felt like before, you know, either you guys couldn't get along or whatever, but there's something that's changed in you. I feel like you've been working on yourself as well. Excuse me. There's something that you want to say to this, um, to a person here, I feel. The advice would be to go ahead and speak your mind. Tell the truth. Be upfront. Okay. What would be the advice for them? The Knight of Pentacles. Think about it. Think about it before they completely walk away. Take some time to really kind of um, think about the situation at hand. Think about the other person involved because the Knight of Pentacles is cutting off the Eight of, Eight of Cups. And I truly feel like the Knight of Pentacles is is not only is it an energy of you know slowing things down taking some time to think about things instead of being this knight of wands just kind of like moving and doing taking some time to think about you know what's really going on in this situation and not being too hasty to um, move or pass judgment okay And I think also this is them, you know, listening to what you guys have to say if you do approach. If you do reach out, okay. What is the outcome for Taurus? What is the outcome for Taurus? The Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are hopeful, okay. I do feel like you're hopeful. I do feel like you guys, um, you feel like you've invested a lot of time in this situation. So, you know, yeah, you're, you're hopeful. And I still see you being hopeful. Okay. Let's see. What is the outcome for them? The Three of Swords. This person wants to have a conversation. Um, there, there's some disappointment here. Okay, and maybe they've been waiting on you guys to make an appearance. Maybe they've been waiting on you to tell some truth. Um, but I see like disappointment here, hurt, wanting to have a discussion, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, maybe you guys, they... sorry guys, my camera cut off, but I'm feeling that they feel like you guys are taking too long because I feel you guys are hopeful, but you're waiting. You're waiting. Um, there's something I feel that is kind of holding you up. It's like stalling you. Okay. But I do think you 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 need to like, you know, really think about things. Um, how you want to approach this person, if that's what you're thinking about. But, you know, for the 1st through the 15th, I do see there's disappointment. I see they're still waiting here. Okay. Definitely. Let me pull a Romance Angels card for you guys here to close out the reading. What other messages do we have for Taurus? What other messages do we have for Taurus? Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And that together really stands out to me because I kind of see you guys doing the same thing during this period and I feel that you guys are maybe waiting on this person and they're probably waiting on you okay but there's something that they feel you guys should do and I'm feeling that you guys feel like you should do something here with this king of swords energy something that you want to say for sure then you have those two aces up there there's something that's stalling you guys, I feel. I'm stalling you out right now. Okay. So that is what I have for you guys. And, um, and this is Aquarius energy here. I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.